In the United States, companies don't get much bigger than Amazon, worth $1.3 trillion, with more than a million employees worldwide. But now federal regulators in the United States say it got this big and this rich using unfair practices. Around 60% of the sales on Amazon.com come from small and medium-sized companies. But the FTC says when they list on Amazon because of fees and requirements, for every $2 the seller makes, one of those dollars goes to Amazon, a fee that it says amounts to a 50% Amazon tax, which is ultimately passed along to consumers. Because of Amazon's reach, the FTC says sellers have little choice but to pay. And it says Amazon is also inflating prices of goods because if those sellers sell their products for less on another platform, the allegation is Amazon basically makes their listing disappear on its site. We are influenced to buy only from those that do everything that Amazon tells them to do and pay whatever whatever Amazon tells them to pay. Amazon is denying any wrongdoing. The case is expected to take years to work its way through the courts, but experts say it could have a huge impact on the company if they lose. I think a breakup is on the table. It is one of the things that the FTC is asking for, but um, there's a range of outcomes that are possible, and uh, uh, including simply uh, barring Amazon from the various practices that this lawsuit is complaining about. This is all part of a promise from the Biden administration to take on big tech. The FTC is also suing Meta, the parent company of Facebook. The Justice Department is in court right now suing Google. How these cases turn out will likely have a huge impact on people worldwide and the way we all use technology going forward. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.